Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Um, we're just on our way at the moment to this recently purchased commercial development. Um, it's a mixed use property. So you had barbershop downstairs and rooms upstairs and we're converting that to two flats. So recently had the planning permission through. Um, just heading over there now to do a walk through and um, show you what we're going to be doing. Welcome everyone, we're here. So this is the mixed use property, which was originally being used as a barber shop downstairs and you had two bedrooms on the first floor and one in the loft. Let's go inside and have a look. So a brief story on this property. First viewing it in 2019 last year, so nearly 12 months ago. Um, I first saw it online and I saw that it had a lot of potential, really high ceilings. It was very interesting that you obviously had the barber shop downstairs and also the fact that they'd already gone into the loft. So that is money saved there already. Um, came to view it on the open day. There was only about two or three other people at that open day, which I was ecstatic about. And I was looking for an investment for a HMO. So what I wanted to do is turn the whole property, looking for a two or three bedroom property to turn to a six or five bedroom all en suite HMO with shared communal kitchen and living space um, obviously I ended up purchasing the property during all of this we came through into a pandemic in March where I actually reduced my offer considerably um, I actually said to the vendor if you want to keep this on the market that's completely fine but I need to cover myself in case anything that happens to the market so I had to reduce my offer he actually said look let's carry out this business so I actually got a really good buy on this property um, but yeah, I changed the plans of a six bedroom all on suite HMO to two flats. And that's what we've agreed to go with, uh, with one flat being on the ground floor. We've got shared access through the front door, which is just through there. And the second flat will be on the first floor and into the loft space. So the floor plan of this property, the way it is at the moment, you've got shared access, which was through the front door. That was for both the barber shop and the three bedrooms that were rented on the first floor and into the loft. Um, you then had your second commercial room, which was through here. So the commercial unit was only these two rooms and there was a toilet in the garden, that was it. To the right of the property, where you can see those stairs, just through there, that was the shared kitchen and bathroom. So the people that rented those rooms upstairs, they used that kitchen and that bathroom. Um, upstairs, it's just two bedrooms and in the loft it's just the one bedroom and now going over to the way that the floor plans will look we're going to carry on using the shared access through the front door so you've got shared access through here you've got a hallway that will come all the way through and then there's going to be a door in front of you and then to the left so going in front going up the stairs that's going to flat two and then going left that is coming in to flat one. So where we're standing at the moment, this is bedroom one. As we just come through here, I might as well show you, you're gonna have a bathroom, just the other side of this bedroom. And then in the garden, there's gonna be a 3.2 meter extension, which is then gonna house the kitchen living space on the left hand side. And then there's gonna be a bedroom on your right. That's where you've got the bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living space. That's downstairs, done. As you go upstairs, I'll show you the way it's gonna be set out. Okay, so now we're on the first floor, so this will be flat two. Um, with this property, a lot of the existing walls we try to keep. So instead of taking the whole property all back to shell with the joists out, all the existing walls down, We've managed to keep the joists. They're all structurally fine. We've had our reports and all of our structural calculations. They're actually fine. And with, some of, with most of these walls, we're actually keeping. So this wall here, 
it's going to be taken down from about here back to there and where my cameraman is actually standing that is going to be the kitchen living space so on this floor you've got your kitchen living space which is here which will be extended into this room to make it ever so bigger and then over here is where your bedroom's going to go as you can see there's no window in at the moment um window will be going about here above the front door which we had to put planning permission in because this property is in a conservation area but i'll talk about that in a minute and then as we come through here so you've got your kitchen living space there you've got your bedroom and then over here this is where your bathroom will be so the bathroom will be along this wall here's your window so we're keeping the same opening size of course all these windows are coming out as you can see they're absolutely rotted completely through so we can't save them at all um, and then the other bedroom will be upstairs so we should have a really good sized kitchen living space a really decent sized bathroom that bedroom there is quite small and then the one in the loft will be slightly bigger so that will be your master bedroom and I'll show you now you can't see a lot up there but I'll give you an idea of how it's how it looks at the moment compared to how it looked before we're now on the second floor this will be the second bedroom of flat two so if you just have a little look around we've got a little dormer window here and we're going to hopefully get some Veluxes in here but I just need to have that confirmed first with um, with the conservation officer um, but yeah there's, there's not too much to say up here what you see is what you get as I said they had gone up in the loft years ago so it saved me doing all of this myself um, all the roof rafters are fine so we're good to just come off of them we just obviously need to insulate everything um, to building control regulations and, and yeah we take it from there obviously this crack on the wall was a little bit concerning this came up in the structural report we just have to carry out the Healy fix system on this which involves cutting lines through the crack inserting the Healy fix bar and then putting mortar and cement all the way through that making that good but we need to make the the brickwork good throughout the whole property pretty much but yeah no that's it this is the second floor so the biggest challenge I've had so far with this property it's been the fact that it's been this property is located within a conservation area so when you go to put planning in there is a lot of other aspects of the planning application you need to spend a lot more time reading into um, the first planning application on this was actually denied because of certain reasons so we had to alter the plans ever so slightly thank god obviously they've come through now and we're, we're good to go with the work but I could literally talk here for about three hours just about conservation um, I've learned a lot in this process of how to acquire planning in a conservation area so hopefully that benefits me going forward but you've seen the whole property now I'm going to give it five months max for the whole job to be complete but yeah that's it so don't forget to follow me on Facebook LinkedIn and Instagram I'm going to be doing regular updates throughout the whole of the build I'm going to be trying to do a lot more YouTube videos so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, so now that I've talked, it's taken you through the whole property. Got, uh... <laughs> Why did my dinner cook? <laughs>